Guam High playing host to the Simon Sanchez Sharks for this year's high school football third place trophy. The last meeting between the two teams went in favor of the Panthers on homecoming night. Sanchez struck first off a quarterback keeper up the middle by Jayton Penaflor. The Sharks defense closed shop on Guam High, not allowing a score in the first half. Pun attempt here by Trayvon Jacobs goes deep into Sanchez's territory. Urgen Sanchez picks up the ball and weaves his way through the Panthers' return team, breaking tackles and picking up blocks along the way. Sanchez hits the sidelines and starts making his way towards the end zone. Jacobs gives chase to slow him down as the home team makes the stop short of the touchdown. Sharks picked up the win 20-0. Cameron Tovez and Aiden Lumba got in for scores in their team's win. This year's title game went down as an instant classic. FD riding that 47-game win streak and winners of four straight IIAG High School football championships. GW looking to play spoilers, had their defense clicking early. All-Island offensive MVP Kian Artero held in check for most of the game. The Maroon and Gold also had some great plays on defense, not allowing the Geckos to get their offense rolling. The big play for the Friars was on defense when cornerback Keikoa Gamboa Jumped the route and picked off GW quarterback Enrique Macias, taking the interception to the two-yard line. Kian Artero punched it in for the only touchdown of the game, while teammate Bobby had it kicked through the point-after attempt for the 7-0 lead. The Geckos had one last shot at tying the game, but fell short as the Friars' defense was able to hold for the 7-0 win and the team's fifth consecutive title. It feels really good to be champions again. Um, we came out to this game knowing what we're, we were expecting them to come out hard, and they did. And we remember that we were playing for, for uh, Mr. Roth, Xavier, and Mr. Thompson, and that was what made us push harder. Big round of applause for our defense. They really held the house for us, and they really got that interception that made us go all the way to the red zone and get that touchdown for ourselves. We got to really hand it to them. Definitely our defense. We really worked so hard at practice every day, and we really pride ourselves on our defense and how we're able to give the offense another chance and, you know, we're just able to fall back on our defense. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I am so proud of our boys. Uh, the coaching staff and I, uh, you know, we worked hard getting these boys focused, getting them disciplined, and they did all the work. From the start of the season to right now, they did all the work. We just came out and taught football. They, they bled, they sweat, and they cried. Uh, and, and the results are, are success. In bowling news, the Guam Senior Bowlers Association Monthly Senior Championship crowned a top seed winner for the second month in a row as tournament leader Liz Longus took two straight games from veteran champion Jim Panala to take the October title. The first game was critical for Longus, having to defeat multi-titleist Panala, who was among the top senior bowlers on island. Longus won the first game 186 to 176 and continued by taking advantage of a couple of miscues by Panala to finally end it 191 to 157 and claim the title she had tried to win several times this year. The victory placed her in the GSBA Grand Finals in December, the next and final month.